Alright, we're here in Skyrim today doing a primary location and a dungeon quest guide. Um, our location is going to be Hilgrun's Tomb. You can see Golden Rock, Valthium Towers, there's Gallows Rock. There's a few locations here that I haven't discovered yet. Um, but uh, potentially probably the fastest way to reach this is the right one and then around this way. And there's actually a beaten path you can follow. <coughs> we're heading... Alright. Oh, oh, just a fox. Okay. And Hilgren's tomb is right up here. Hmm. Alright. This is it here. Grun's tomb. Now, uh, before we actually enter the tomb itself, there's a couple things we want to do. Uh, first, let's see. I'm going to go around behind it. You can actually see inside of it there. Should be a hidden chest. Oh, look. There's a coin purse. Oh, oh, here's our chest. Okay. On top of the tomb here. It's an expert one. Alright, we unlocked it. A few valuables, nothing too major. Okay, let's go around now. Alright, we're gonna open this door here. When we come inside, we find this guy. Cold air. Oh, my kind startled me. There's a necromancer around here, so watch yourself. Can you help me? Alright, we talked to him. He's in the tomb doing God's know what with my dead relatives. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Who's in the tomb? Val's Varen. My family has never really seen eye to eye with him. And he has finally gone off the deep end. He's gone in to defile our family tomb by using our ancestors for his filthy dark elf necromancy. Uh -oh. My aunt went in after him, but she hasn't come out yet, and I don't think I can take him by myself. That sounds bad. <laughs> you let your aunt go in there by herself? I'm not proud of it. I'm terrified of that place, and Aunt Agna knows it. My dad locked me in there in a drunken rage when he left us. Huh. Three days in there eating the offerings left for our dead before Aunt Agna found me. Damn. Can you help me? He's in the tomb doing God's know what with my dead relatives. All right, and you say, let's go. Wait. I'll unlock the door and meet you inside. Then you can lead the way. All right, now we started Ancestral Worship, which is our dungeon quest here. You can go ahead and grab these items that are lying around. All right, some salt pile. An egg sack. And uh, looks to be about it. All right, inside Hillgrown's tomb we go. We should get after Val's Baron before he does more damage here. Alright. So there's gonna be Draugr in this crypt that we're gonna have to watch out for. I'm gonna start looking for items too. So we're gonna do this as a lo uh, location guide as well since both happen at the same time. There's already one down Draugr here. Let's go ahead and get sneaky. I've already got one. Alright. Looks like we got more downstairs. Nice. Alright, and 
some snow berries lying on the ground. Then there's this trap trigger we should unlock here before opening this door. Okay, so make sure there's no loot. Alright, open this door here. There's not a whole lot in here, though there's a searchable urn. Oh, not bad. And there's that swinging mace off uh, trap that. Oh, get out of my way. What's the hurry? Alright, he's trapping us in here now. <laughs> Let's take a look at our map here. Alright, this is that little room that we went into. Get back to sneaking. So we're not waking up anybody we don't need to. I'm actually going to switch to my glass bow here and capture some souls while we're in here. A common soul gem. take these offerings that were left for the ancestors. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, looks like there's a trap in here. Oop. There's a sleeping jogger too. Let's hit him. And bring out our flames. Yeah. <laughs> that set off the trap and got rid of him. At least for the time being. Oh. Dude's using shouts, I see. Did he heal himself? Looks like it. Go ahead and take out the Death Lord. Huh. Alright, downed him. Oh, damn, Ebony War Axe. I'll take that, thank you. Lock this chest. and a dwarven bow. Hey, those belong to my family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, take whatever you want. <laughs> so he initially complains. So long as you help me get rid of pals. Then he gives in. Yep, it's the price. Okay. Bunch of wines in here. We cleared out the trap by setting that stuff on fire. Hmm. Sounds like something's making noise. Alright. Oh, you can actually search these guys here. here. Alright. Oh, looks like we got a Draugr stuck in a door. Oh, that was the guy from before. We can just shoot him while he's in there. Nice. Got some ancient Nord arrows. can we find in this room? Well, there's Agna. Uh, no. And Agna. Oh, Talos. 
Why didn't I go in with her? Yeah, that was pretty retarded of you, wasn't it? Alright. barred the door. Gods only know how he's defiling the bodies of my ancestors in there. That sounds really gross, I man. Told me there is a secret room deeper in where they bury disgraced members of the family. Maybe that will get us into the main chamber. So, yeah, you can't open this door here. Let's take this, uh, I didn't mean to take the bowl, but whatever. Alright. Um, doo -doo -doo. So let's head this other way here. Some mushrooms to harvest in this place. Oh, we woke up the Death Lord here. And we woke up another one, it seems. Huh. Alright. Ancient Nord Great Sword of Ice. Mm, not bad. Ooh, I'm carrying too much stuff now. Alright, so I gave Lydia some What's of my stuff. In? Frees up enough room for us. Open this door here. Alright. Ah, so this is like a shortcut. Got another jogger here. Like the dude said, there's some traps around here. Oh. Oops, sorry. Hit Lydia in the back of the head. Lots of souls to capture in here if you're looking to do that. Alright. Like the dude said, there might be a trap. Oh, there it is. Search these burial urns. Some gold in those. Another ebony war axe. I'll try to grab that. Had a regular axe on him. Lots of dead bodies to search. Alright. We got a chest in this room. Oh, let me make sure it's not trapped. Nope, not. These are just the same bodies from the other side. Alright, so we'll jump over that. Hmm. Manages to step right over it. Glass arrow, nice. Damn, this dude has a lot of family members. And one less, apparently, too. Yep, Lydia set the thing off. Alright, let's, let's open this door here. Alright. Oh! Looks like it wasn't just a shortcut. Hold on one second. Okay, we ran around to the other side where we were just a second ago. Um. So, actually, this part was blocked off, and I failed to notice that. So my apologies there. But there's a chest here. Just to show you where we are. 
that's kind of, we just ran back around here, and now I'm picking up the chest stuff here. There's a jogger. Alright. And another one. Alright, let's run back here. <laughs> you can just r dash past those uh, darts. Okay, sleeping jogger. It's another death lord. That's pretty good. Ebony Battle Axe. I might have to drop some of this stuff in a second here. Alright, now we're in this room here. Whoa! That kind of startled me a little. <laughs> I was gonna say we're in this room with a little, uh, Drainage well. well. It looks like it leads up to the top, but we can't really get up there. So this is where we are now. And there's some uh, cocoons, or not cocoons. Sorry, uh, web sacks or whatever. Can't search those though. Oh, it's a chick dragger. These basically, uh, uh, this one looks like, uh, I might have gotten up at one point recently. Lots of people to search for pieces of gold and such. I have a feeling, oh, there we go. Lydia here. Switch my ebony bow for more damage. I'm gonna work on getting more shouts, because <laughs> the ones I got aren't that powerful. Looks like we got another death lord to the side there. I know that, you just keep running in front of my boat. <laughs> Apparently she's never heard the term clear the line of fire. Alright, uh, another Dreth Lord, looks like the final guy in this room. Alright. See what these guys got on them. A few valuables. Another ebony war axe. <laughs> Running out of room. Alright, earn. Looks like we have a puzzle Looks here. Like the area Agna told me about. She said that the bear would show the way. Oh, well. It's good that he got some information before uh, she was lost to us or whatever. Okay, got some mushrooms here. Hey, this is a room we are now in. Looks like we're in, um, I guess the more or less end location of uh, this part. Hmm. Alright, well, there's a bunch of these symbols here. Looks like the bear has a chain next to it, which we'll check in just a second. I just want to make sure I'm not leaving anything behind in this room. 
Nope, okay. Let's go ahead and pull the chain. There you go. That was really not that hard at all. Most of the other puzzles are a little bit trickier. Whenever you see those symbols, the bear, the dragon, and uh, one of them looks like a fish or dolphin. down this dude. He's undead, what is he running from? Jesus Christ. Alright, let's pull back a little bit. You got blister wart here. There's this door we should check out in just a second. Make sure I didn't skip anything while I was chasing that asshole. Alright, doesn't look like there's any traps on this. Okay, we unlocked it. Hmm. A couple potions and a chest here. Scroll of Call to Arms. Not bad. Leather bracers, terribly shitty. Uh, okay, into this main room now. Let's see what was on this guy. Uh, another ebony war axe, which I don't really have room for. Uh, nope. Yeah, that's what I thought. I actually dropped that magical sword because it's not even worth nearly as much as the uh, ebony stuff is. Silver amethyst ring, that's kind of valuable. Alright, let's go up these stairs now. And that looks like our necromancer, and you can see here we're at the end now. Let's give him a sneak attack. Oop, too high. A little bit lower. Damn! Did he drop? Yeah! <laughs> he dropped him instantly with that sneak attack there. Alright, let's get these strong that are coming out. Drop that necromancer before he could do anything. Right. <laughs> Done deal. Looks like we got more guys coming at us. Let's switch my glass bow here. Looks like we're going to be facing waves of Draugr. I imagine that Necromancer might have had something to say <laughs> if we didn't kill him instantly. It's good to sneak attack casters because, um,. <clears throat> Like that necromancer, uh, he probably would have had uh, a spell shield if I had uh, let him know of my intentions, so to speak. This guy has an ebony sword on him. Just leave that for now. Jogger Scorch Lord. Alright. 
got some urns around the place. Oh, here's one. That amazing. Which is massive sarcasm, actually. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Got yeah, one more little urn here. Some nice valuables in that one. Alright, upstairs we go. Search Val's Varen. Here's a Hillgrun's Tomb Crypt Key. Nice. Spell Tome Frostbite. Necromancer Rose. Was interesting. Now, where did our uh, dude go? Oh, he's back that way. Looks like he stayed behind. So let's talk to him. Thank you for your help with Bal. 